ਦੇ ਮਾਰਾ ਰਿਹਾ ਬਸ ਜਦ ਤੋਂ ਵੀ ਬਣਾ ਰਿਹਾ
So let me get your attention. I don't have a mic, right? So I, I, the voice is not a shouter, not one of those shouter, right? Now sometimes we jokingly, jokingly, we say uh, in an instant, one can be in the shower and you're gone. You can be driving your car and you're gone. You can be about to take that bite of your favorite food and you're gone. We jokingly say that. But the Apostle Paul says, Behold, I show you a mystery. He said in an instant, your life can be taken from you. The question is, where would you go? I said it earlier, to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. And you trust Christ as Savior. What you see on your lay down here with your brother and with Tracy, right? This is just a memory of what you knew of them. The Apostle Paul says one day she will be given a new body, an incorruptible body. She will feel no pain, no sorrow. They have no sadness. There will be no animosity. There will be no hatred. God had intended all of us to live in peace with one another. That's what the corruption of sin in our lives. It corrupts the way we think and we feel about each other. But it does not have to be that way. Ravi, this is not the last that you have to see of your wife. You can't see her again. God has provided a way for you to do so. But it's our choice. It's the choice that we make. And that is the choice that we may not have tomorrow to make again. In Christ, there is no mystery. 
everything is simply laid out for us let us pray the Lord is the light and my salvation whom shall I fear the Lord is the strength of my life whom shall I be afraid one thing Lord have I desired as Tracy Lord is that she will seek after and she has that she may dwell in your house all the days of her life and to behold the beauty of God in his holy temple <coughs> that is the prayer that I offer to each and every one of you because while there is breath in your body you have a chance to do so the Lord had given it and the Lord had seen fit to take her away but in all things we give thanks and blessed be the name of the Lord so as it much as it plead Almighty God and his great mercy to take unto himself the soul of Tracy Sanka we therefore commit her body to the ground earth to earth ashes to ashes dust to dust in the sure and certain hope of the resurrection to the vile body we will change that we may be fashioned unto our glorious body according to the workings whereby he is able even to subdue all things unto himself and just as Christ rose so shall she, shall she raise again so Father we give you thanks and praise for what what you have done that for Tracy dear God for dying on the cross and shedding your blood so that now we can take comfort knowing for certain she is with you in your loving arms dear Father that one day dear God she will be revitalized, renewed and refreshed into a new incorruptible body dear God but Father I pray for those that are alive dear God will follow suit after Tracy dear God that they will open their hearts and their lips unto you their Father and receive you dear God so Father we thank you for the life thank you for the memory thank you for the gift that was given dear God so Father we commit her into your arms in no other name we ask all of these things but the precious and priceless name of Christ Jesus Amen Hallelujah Go ahead guys